Welcome. Namaste. My name is Babette. Um, thanks for being here and practicing with me. Uh, today we're going to be moving through quite a bit of hip mobility, uh, finding strength in our flexibility. It's great to be flexible, but it's even a greater, I find, to be able to apply it using our own strength. And on top of that, we'll be getting into a little bit of core um, to me, at the end of the day, everything is core, but it's nice from time to time to spice it up a little bit. Um, so for today, you're back to space, mat, a little bit of water, blocks can always be handy, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for being here. Please come to sit at the back of your mat on your shins. Uh, you can always sit on a block if you want. Allowing your hands to rest in your lap, maybe palms up, maybe palms down onto the thighs. I like to close my eyes as that uh, tends to calm us down a little bit. A soft gaze is wonderful too. Just using the next few moments to draw your awareness to your breath and acknowledgement of your breath. Uh, maybe you want to follow it through the nose or just allow the belly to rise and fall with your breath. A slight intention if you want. I said slight as it doesn't have to be esoteric. It can be something as uh, simple, which uh, when executed, maybe not so simple. Just staying with your breath throughout the duration of this practice. Letting that be your guide, your main focus, and let everything else from there follow as a suggestion. But you can take it as grandiose as you want. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and side out. And then please allow your eyes to open if they were closed. Interlace your hands behind you. Pull that fist away from you. And then take that entire fist over to your left back of the right hand to the outside of the left rib cage. Draw the left elbow back, shoulders down. And then carefully let your left ear come to your left shoulder. This might be enough or perhaps circle your chin towards the left armpit. Take a deep inhale through the nose and side out. On the inhale, with some resistance, bring your head back through center. And then take that entire fist back behind you, pull it to the ground and away from you. Then take that entire fist over to your right, back of the left hand outside of the right rib cage. Right elbow draws back and pull your shoulders down. Mindfully let your right ear come down to the right shoulder. Perhaps this is enough, or you can turn the chin towards the right armpit. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and side out. Carefully bring your head back through center. Release that bind behind you, and then release your fingers. Now you can line up fingertips and the knees. Feel free to take blocks underneath your hands. Uh, tops of the feet are untucked, so you're pointing through the toes. On the exhale, push into the hands, lift the knees, find low lasana, tuck the chin, and then inhale, lower your knees back down to the ground. Again, you can do this on blocks. Twice more, exhale, lifting the knees, cat spine, and then inhale, back down to the ground. One more time, exhale, push, and then flip onto the soles of your feet, Finding your Uttanasana, your forward fold. Inhale, take a little half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. And then exhale, fold over. Two more. Inhale, tabletop spine, back body, and core active. Exhale, fold over, Uttanasana. And one more time. Inhale, a half lift. And then exhale, fold over. Pressing into the feet. Inhale, reach all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. In arms reach up, full breath in. Exhale, cactus the arms out, little baby back bend. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sweep your arms forward, down and back. Interlace your fingers, pull that fist down, back, open up across the chest. Carefully release that bind, bend your knees, sweep your arms up. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Try not to stick your seat away back. Maybe think that beautiful up hands pose through the upper back. 
Reach your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, pull that fist down and back. Exhale, belly to your thighs, fold over the legs, head drops. And if you start to lengthen a little bit more through your legs and rock the weight to the front of your feet, pulling your sit bones apart, and maybe drawing the palms to touch, you're gonna to get a very active shape. Release your bind, hands come down, inhale, half lift. Exhale, take it forward into your plank pose, palm fingertips, palm fingertips, palm fingertips. Oh, once you're in your plank, take a moment to uh, connect to your core, drawing the ribs in, pushing through the heels, legs, glutes, activate. Pushing through the palms so you're not just holding yourself up, but you're actually pushing down. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe a slight pedal out through the feet. I always like a little bit of movement as I uh, get into my first downward facing dog. Uh, you'd be surprised uh, as how we hold our heads up. Uh, so let the head completely drop here. And feel free to fire up that ujjayi breath if you have not done so yet. On your next inhale, lift your heels and hips, continue to look back and then dome your spine forward into a plank pose. Let the crown of the head be the last thing to extend. Exhale, soften the knees, draw the hips back, looking forward, and let the crown of the head be the last thing to lower down. Twice more, inhale, ripple it forward through cat spine, and exhale, draws you back through a cow spine. One more spinal wave, inhale, coming forward. And then exhale back to your downward facing dog. A deep inhale through the nose. Sigh out. Next inhale, please come back into your plank pose. Take your time. Exhale, lower your knees down, toes are tucked. Take your cow spine off your back. Shoulders come over your fingertips. Bend your elbows back for Ashtangasana, knees, chest and chin. Untuck your toes, slide forward onto your belly, finding low cobra bhujangasana. And then exhale, all fours, tabletop. On the next uh, inhale, reach your left arm forward and right leg back. Find that diagonal through the body. The more you reach forward and kick back, the more you're going to activate your core. Exhale, elbow to knee, one classic bird dog pause. Inhale, send the leg in back and arm forward. Keep your right leg up. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Come onto the left upper arm, the left cheek. And then tap, spread through your toes here. Exhale, tap the right knee to the right tricep or elbow. And then inhale, send the leg back. Keep your right leg up. Come back up into a one-legged tabletop. Bend your right knee, flex the foot, leave a footprint to the ceiling. Take a cow spine. Exhale, shoulders come forward, elbows bend back, tap the chest and chin down, float the foot. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, please tuck your left toes and draw the right knee into the nose. Inhale, find a right down dog split as you completely lengthen through. Now take a moment to bend your right knee, find that beautiful open hip Circle through your ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. And then re-lengthen back through your right leg. Exhale, take it to the left elbow, cross body plank. To your right elbow, to the right wrist, up to the right elbow. Inhale, right dog splits. Bend the knee, open hip, a rock star over to your left, just to open it up as far as you want. Inhale, tip that back around into your right down dog split. And then exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Next inhale, take it forward into your plank pose, no rush. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And steady breath. Next inhale, we come forward back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin for your Ashtangasana. 
on top of the toes, push into the hands, inhale, slide forward, low cobra, maybe a high cobra. And then exhale, all fours. Next inhale, right arm reaches forward, left leg extends back. Find that diagonal, reaching, pushing, kicking through the back heel. One pause, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach forward and back. Keep your left leg up, exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left, come into the right cheek, right forearm, spreading through the left toes. Exhale, tap the left knee to the left tricep or elbow, and then inhale, send the leg way back. Exhale, back up to a one-legged tabletop. Inhale, bend the left knee, flex the foot, and leave that footprint on the ceiling. Take a cow spine, look forward, shoulders forward, elbows back, shade the ribcage and float the foot. Inhale, come back up. Please tuck your right toes. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, send the leg back, dog split. Bend the knee, open hip. Circle through your ankle, that beautiful whirl, wake up the foot. Next, inhale, re-lengthen back through your left leg. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross body plank. Take it over to the left elbow, left wrist, left elbow. Inhale, left dog split. Bend the knee, open hip. Rock star to your right. If you want stacked, or roll it open. Inhale, pivot on the ball of your right foot for a left down dog split. Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Next, inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest and chin, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath, deep inhale. And then please take a child's pose, knees nice and wide, big toes touching. So a moment, catching your breath, smooth it out. All right. Keep your knees wide, your big toes touching. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards you. And then take your hands behind you. I like to come on tended fingers. Come to stand on the shins, tops of the feet. Maybe let the head drop to get into this camel variation. Then on the exhale, lower your seat back down to the ground. Now I like to take my hands in front of me interlaced. You can also cross the arms just so you're not tempted to use your hands. A lot of core stay out of your knees. Come up to stand on your shins, big toes still touching. And then let both feet pivot to the left and drop your seat behind your right heel. Inhale, come back up to stand on your shins. Both feet pivot to the right. Drop your booty behind the left heel. Coming up one more time, inhale. Both feet over to the left and drop your booty behind your right heel. Without using hands, you can swing your left leg forward, sole the right foot to the inner left thigh. Reach your right hand behind you. Inhale, come to stand on the right shin, left arm reaches overhead. Find that beautiful side plank variation. Then float your left leg off the ground. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Twice more, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Step that left foot back onto the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left for a cross-legged side plank. And then take that right shin back down to where you had it. Twice more, exhale, right ankle over the left. <laughs> and then take the right shin back down. One more time, a right ankle over the left and then take that right shin back down. Uh, circle your booty and uh, seat back down to the ground to where you were a moment ago. Take your left forearm to the inside of the left thigh, palm up or down, right arm reaches up. You can take your left forearm on a block if you want. 
Roll your right shoulder way back, but for this beautiful gate pose variation. Next inhale, come back up. Face your right knee up to the ceiling, plant the foot into the mat. As you can draw that right heel as close as possible towards you without sinking in the lower back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to the inside of your right knee, reaching forward. You can hold on to calf, ankle, or your foot. Or maybe wrap your right arm around your right shin and thigh, left arm around the lower back, finding peace, fingers, or wrist. March your ass in a pose, draw the heart forward and through. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Then release that bind if you have it. Take your left hand behind you. And inhale, open up into a rock star from the ground up. Find your breath. The tricky stuff here. Exhale, right elbow to the left knee. And inhale, open that back up. Twice more, elbow to knee. Inhale, open it back up. Exhale, elbow to knee. And inhale, open it back up. A tricky transition, take that left shin underneath you as a kickstand and step the right foot to the top edge of the mat pinky toe edge parallel to short edge of the mat inhale bring yourself all the way up to stand face your right toes to the front and bend the knee take right forearm to right thigh supported side angle variation maybe peek underneath the left armpit maybe sink a little bit further into the lunge if you want big breath into the nose Maybe side out. Then circle your left hand, then your right hand down underneath your shoulders. Heel toe the right foot over to the right. Swivel your left foot to the back edge of your mat. Maybe slide the knee a little bit back and you're in your lizard pose. Supported variation, look forward. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, up and back. Maybe that's enough. Or take your toe, grab pinky toe edge of the right foot. Gets you nicely across your rotator cuff. Sorry, left foot, I apologize. Let your right knee splay out if that feels good and come onto the left forearm if you want. Turn your chest way up to the sky, rock your way forward. Take a big breath in through the nose. Inside out. Release the tail if you have it and come back into your palms. Tuck your left toes, push to the heel, lift the knee, look forward. You're fully in Uttam Prastasana Lizard. And then exhale, step that left foot next to the left hand. Finding your Malasana Yogic Squat. Hands to the heart. Smooth out your breath. Maybe allow the eyes to close. Sit bones draw down, heart draws forward. More hip mobility. You can forego this if you want. Uh, let's start by tenting the hands in front of you for support. And then exhale, you have to pivot on the balls of your feet. So you can take your right knee to the left ankle and then inhale back to Malasana. Exhale, left knee to the right ankle and then back to Malasana. Hands to the heart, deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Hands come down, push into the feet to lift the hips, face the toes forward, a little wider forward fold. Inhale, half lift and heel toe your feet underneath you. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all up, push into the feet, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up, get long. Exhale, fold over, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back and jump back, float back or skip. Up dog or cobra, take your time moving through those vinyasas. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, maybe a sigh. And then please, your child's pose, knees nice and wide, big toes touching. Give yourself that moment. Staying with your breath. You want to catch your breath a little quicker, you can always come up to sit as it draws the blood a little quicker back from your head into your heart. It's quite warm and humid in New York today, so 20 minutes in, I'm already sweating, so maybe sit up if that helps. 
Uh, keep your knees wide, big toes touching as you walk your hands back, sitting on the heels. Take both hands behind you, tented fingers, come onto the shins, lift the hips, let the head drop if that feels good. Find your breath. And then lower your seat back down to the ground. Take both hands this time between your knees. Use Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor lift, and your Uddiyana Bandha, your core lift. As you push into the ground, and see so you can open that up into your Malasana. Tricky part is to take it back down without slamming the tops of the feet into the mat. So keep pointing through the toes, keep lifting pelvic floor, engaging core. Take your hands down and see if you can lightly land into your child's pose setup. A big toes touching, knees wide. Come hands interlaced or um, crossed arms come onto your shins. Let both feet pivot to the right and drop your booty behind the left heel. Inhale, come up to stand, core. Pivot both feet to the left and let your seat drop behind your right heel. Coming up one more time, both feet pivot to the right and then drop your seat behind the left heel. Maybe without using your hands, swing your right leg forward, setting yourself up for that uh, Janu Shushasana in a moment. Take your left hand behind you. Inhale, come to stand on the left shin. Right arm reaches overhead. And find your feet, the shin of the left foot. Float your right leg off the ground. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, re-extend. Elbow to knee, fully breathe out, and inhale, lengthen through. Take that right foot down to the ground. Exhale, take your left ankle in front of the right, cross-legged side plank, and then lower your left shin back down. Twice more, exhale, left ankle, right ankle. Inhale, lower the shin back down. And then left ankle, right ankle, breath, breath, breath. Lower your left chin back down to where you found it. And then circle your booty back down to the ground. A solo left foot, inner right thigh. Take your right forearm, inner right thigh, maybe on the block, left arm reaches up. And by pushing into that right forearm, you can roll your left shoulder a bit further back. A steady gaze. As if you could breathe into that left lung. Big breath in, and maybe side out. Come back up to sit, face forward. Turn the left knee up to the ceiling and plant the sole of the left foot into the mat. I'm just gonna scoot to the middle here. Draw that left heel in close towards you. Inner arms reach up. Exhale to the inside of the left knee, reach forward. Hold on to calf, ankle, or your foot. Or wrap your left arm around the left chin thigh, right arm around the low back, maybe peace fingers, and then pull your chest open. And find a nice big breath in, maybe a sigh. And then release the bind if you have it. Your right hand drops behind you. Inhale, pinky toe of the right foot comes down, opening that up into your rock star from the ground up. Stay with your breath. Uh, exhale, now try to draw the right knee to the left elbow and inhale, send it back. Twice more, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. And inhale, send it back. Then take that right shin underneath you as a kickstand. Step your left foot to the top edge of the mat. Push through the outer blade. Inhale, come all the way up to stand as you are. Face your left toes forward, bending the left knee. And take your left forearm to the left thigh, finding your supported side angle. Perhaps start to roll the right shoulder back. Peeking underneath the armpit may help. Try not to sink into that left forearm or shoulder. You want to have space between the ear and the shoulder, really going for obliques there. Find one more breath in. Then carefully on the inhale, circle your right hand, then your left hand down underneath your shoulders. Heel toe, left foot over to the left. Swivel your right knee to the back of the mat, maybe slide the knee back a bit. Or your right foot, swivel the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Sweep your left arm forward, up and back. Maybe reaching back is enough. Or take that toe, grab up the right foot, got it right this time. Maybe let the left knee splay out. 
And if you want to, you can come onto your right forearm. Wherever you are, I always have to remind myself, bring your weight forward. Uh, the more you'll come forward, the more you'll deepen into those hip flexors and quads. And you'll most likely come off the kneecap, which might feel better. Take a big breath in through the nose. Side out. Carefully let that back foot go if you have it and come onto your palms. Tuck your right toes, push the heel, your knee will lift, look forward. And then exhale, step that right foot to the outside of your right hand and walk in the back a bit for your Malasana. So active squat, again, if you lift your pelvic floor, you feel glutes, inner outer thighs engage and you're not just sinking in your hip joints. You can tend your fingers for this or take your hands interlaced or that hug. Going without requires a bit more strength. Uh, go for those knee ankle taps. So you can pivot the right knee to the left ankle, back to Malasana. Left knee to the right ankle, back to Malasana. Woof. Hands come down, push it to the feet, hips lift, face the toes forward and allow your head to drop. Inhale, half lift and heel toe your feet underneath you. Exhale, fold over with Tanasana. Inhale, come all the way up your Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up, full breath in. Exhale, fold over with Tanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, jump back, float back, skip to your up dog or cobra. Pushing into the palms, tops of the feet, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose, maybe a sigh. As you can stay for about three breaths, catching your breath. I think there's something very empowering about slowing down your breath even though you're in a shape that uh, can be quite challenging, uh, asking us to relax into the challenge. Next inhale, draw your big toes to touch back of the mat. Moving your shoulders over your wrists, looking between your thumbs, fire up your belly. Exhale, bending the knees, squatting way back, look forward, step or jump on no breath. Finding a half lift on the inhale. And exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, up hands. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. This is a side waist opening, so reaching up, pushing into the feet is going to get you deeper, longer. Exhale, fold over. Really commit to that forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Look forward. Exhale, your step back, your jump back, or skip. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So I, I think I've mentioned this many times. Legs, glutes, longest, strongest muscles of the body. So uh, I often see people rely way too much on their upper body in L hops, handstands. Make it come from your legs. Um, draw your big toes to touch back of the mat. Inhale, lift your right leg up into the sky. Internally rotate it. Pop onto the ball of your left foot. Take your shoulders over the wrists and look between your thumbs. Bend the left knee and squat way back. Right leg stays up. And then go for a baby one-legged hop underneath your hips. So you're halfway there. Now you're on the ball of the left foot. You can pulse to the left leg. We'll go for some L-shaped hops. <laughs> Exhale to come up. And inhale to land. Try not to think over, think up. Go for another hop. And then step or hop your feet forward. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, relay and reset. And exhale, fold over your leg. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale, hands to the heart. One more round, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold over, fully breathe out. 
Half lift, inhale, look forward. You take it back, your way, step, jump, float. Inhale, up, duck. Urdhva, Mukha, Svanasana. Exhale, down, dog, Adho, Mukha, Svanasana. Again, smooth out your breath. The way to catch your breath is to especially make sure you breathe out. If you're just gulping in air, uh, you can start to kind of get that sensation of hyperventilation. So make those exhales count. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Big toes touching, back of the mat. Inhale, lift your left leg up into the sky. And moving your shoulders over the wrist on the inhale, look between your thumbs. Exhale, bend your right knee, one-legged squat back, look forward. Baby hop underneath your hips. You're on the ball of your right foot. Pulse through the right leg. Or perhaps go for some L hops. Uh, exhale, coming up. Inhale to land, fingertips. Uh, doesn't matter how high up you come. Maybe find a bit of hang time. And then step, hop, a forward. Half lift on the inhale. And exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands. And exhale, hands to the heart. Arms reach up on the inhale. Exhale, fold over. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, Malasada, I think this is round number three. Take your feet out, heels in, hands to heart. Let's rest here for a few breaths. Softening in the face. Slowing down the breath. Good to be alive, feeling the heart uh, beating and bumping. Got options for you. Take your uh, malasana into crow pose. Skip crow pose if you want, just a vinyasa back or skip the vinyasa. Hands down, hips lift, face toes forward. As you heel to your feet underneath you, I like to come on the balls of my feet, turn the knees out. If you're starting off on crow, take your knees into the armpits, hands underneath the shoulders. If you're more familiar, take it on the bony plate of the uh, arms, right above the elbows. I'm going to take my tripod into a uh, sorry, my crow into a tripod. So I'm going to take my knees into the armpits, and then slowly turn the crown of the head onto the ground. Now coming up into your tripod if you want. Got your option. If you're in tripod, you can take it back to crow and then jump back. Or maybe from your tripod, teeter the legs back a 90 degree and then jump back into your chaturanga looking for Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Inside out. Take another breath, smooth it out. And then please enjoy a child's pose or it might be nice to sit up on the shins. Wow, I'm working up a good sweat here. I taught a class yesterday, 100 degrees. It's, uh, people like their hot yoga classes. Good to sweat things out. All right. I have a sip of water towel off. Uh, so as you get older, I don't know if it applies uh, to my friends watching, but it's actually a kind of interesting thing to check in with. If you can get off the ground without using your hands, um, as you get older, at a certain point, it actually uh, might save your life. So let's practice that. Please uh, swivel your feet out to one side, come onto your seat and take your feet in front of you, knees bent as wide as the mat. Uh, try not to sink in your lower back, keep the heart pulling forward and through. Again, I like to interlace my hands, you can go for crossed arms if you want. On the next inhale, let both knees pivot to your left and stay as upright as you can, moving through your hip joints. And then inhale, facing forward, knees face up. Exhale, both knees to the right, stay facing up as much as you can and then inhale, come back through center. 
Then take your left foot a little bit in front, thread your right leg underneath. Now you can use your hands if you want to. Uh, I lean back for a little bit of momentum. Exhale, so you can come up to stand without using your hands and draw your right knee into the chest. Release your hands beside you. Exhale, wrap that right leg super duper high over your left. Maybe eagle wrap, maybe double. Then take that left arm over your right, give yourself a hug, a half or a full eagle wrap. Now you can stick your seat back, lift the elbows up away from your face, back body opens. Exhale, stay up or twist to your right, take both elbows to the outside of your right thigh, they don't have to touch, but do draw your heart forward and through so there's no compression in the chest. Keep your arms wrapped. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Uncross the right leg, draw it into the chest, and then step the foot down. Take your arms by your side body and try not to fidget or move too much. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Inhale, both arms reach up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now draw your inner elbows to kiss, to touch, bit of a shoulder opener, and then pull your left knee up into the chest. Exhale, tap the elbows to the left thigh, little crunch. Inhale, a giant step back into a high crescent lunge. Arms reach up overhead. Find that back heel, find your front thigh. Exhale, one-legged Tadasana, draw that left knee into the chest. Hands to heart, inner elbows, kiss. Baby crunch. Inner arms reach up. Exhale, giant step back. High crescent. Moving in all directions. One more time. Exhale, one-legged Tadasana. Hands come to heart. Inner elbows kiss. Then that baby crunch. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, giant step back. High crescent. Finding your feet. Hands move to the heart. Use your core strength to twist to the right, and then tap that left elbow or tricep to the outer thigh. And keep getting long, maybe hands move to the heart. And kick through that back heel, keep spreading across your collarbones. One more breath. On the inhale, float your hands down in control. Frame your right foot, and fingers fist blocks. Exhale, lengthen through your right leg for a moment to give it a break, head drops. Inhale, re-bend your right knee and take your right hand on the inside, maybe on the block, left heel pivots in. Left arm reaches up, finding side angle, Parjvakanasana. Draw the right hip underneath you, maybe reach your left arm over your ear for the extended variation. Pinky toe at the left foot, push it into the mat. And breathe into the side waist and back body. Pushing through your right heel, engage your core. Inhale, open up to triangle pose. Take your time, lay all the way back in space. Hand can be on the ankle, the shin, the thigh even. If it's on the ground, take it to the outside of the foot, the calf. On the exhale, lower your left hand down. Turn your right toes to the left, wide forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, look at your left leg and give it a hug. Take both arms around the ankle, calf, thigh, wherever you can grab, meet to nose, maybe possibly. A rock the weight into the front of your feet. And then get nitpicky. Lift your right hip up, left hip lowers. Find a big breath into the nose. And side out. Uh, release uh, that bind. Inhale, half lift through center. Exhale, turn over your right leg, runner's lunge. Plant the left palm into the ground. Inhale, all ten toes to your right, finding a boomerang twist. Maybe let the hips dip without sinking into the ankles. Uh, on the inhale, your bottom leg, your left leg. Draw the knee in, have a seat. Your Gomukhasana knees are stacked. Or step the right foot over the left thigh and draw the right heel in, uh, finding um, your seated twist set up or walk the feet away from one another. Inhale, stay up. Exhale, fold a little bit or a lot all the way over, breathing into the outside of the hips. Take a deep inhale through the nose. 
side out. On your next inhale, come back up if you're forward folding. And then take a quarter turn to your left with whatever you have in the legs and you're facing forward. I got options for you. You can take your bind here, your shoulder opener, arms up, bend the left elbow, hand in the nape of the neck, right hand on the elbow, and I'll work that left hand down. You can reach your right arm all the way down and around and find peace fingers. Use a hand towel or a strap if you want. Stay up or forward fold. Uh, if you want to, you can take this into an eagle wrap, Shasana A, coming over your shins. And take your forearms down, interlace your fingers. I like my pinky fingers in front of one another, not stacked. Uh, or perhaps um, uh, find your preference there. Take the back of the head into that cradle, tuck your toes, walk the feet in, maybe that's enough. Or take that up into your Shurshasana A, drawing the hips back, breath, 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 core, core, core. Maybe take an eagle wrap once you're up. And if you're in the forward fold, breathe into your lower back. All right, for my friends that are up, if you're full eagle, try to release that. And then in control, hug the knees in, slowly lower down, a lot of core. And then bring yourself up to sit. If you're forward folding with your shoulder opener, uh, come up and release the shoulder opener. Roll up, take your hands behind your fingertips to your seat, rock back, uncoil the legs until the right ankle's over the left thigh, and step your left foot in front. Lift your hips, figure four, reverse tabletop. And then lengthen your right leg in front of you, toes and heel touch down. Uh, take the left leg next to the right, reverse plank, so hard. Then bend your knees and scoot your booty forward. Inhale, come up to sit, arms reach forward and up, palms up. Come onto tippy toes, maybe a 99 in the shins or full bow pose, Navasana. Stay up here, go for three pulses with me, think back, not all the way down. Exhale, lower, inhale, come up, exhale, lower, inhale, come up, exhale, lower, inhale, come up. Cross your ankles, you can come over your shins or take a jump back. Upper facing dog to your downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose, maybe side out. And then please take that child's pose or sit up on your shin. Patient if you're working on Shirshasana A, any headstand, it's core, 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 moving from your center, never kicking up. You want to be able to, in control, bring yourself up or just work on that core strength, stacking up the hips over shoulders uh, so uh, we keep ourselves safe. Uh, please uh, come onto your seat, uh, take your legs out in front of you, about as wide as the mat, knees facing up. A lower core engaged. Interlace hands or give yourself that hug. On the inhale, both knees drop to the right. Keep yourself upright as much as you can. And then face forward, knees face up. Exhale, both knees to the left. Turn all the way open to the left, stay up. And then come up through center. Step your right foot in front of you. Thread your left shin underneath. Use your hands if you want to. Rock back if you want for a bit of momentum. As you come up to stand without using your hands, draw the left knee into your chest. And then release your hands beside you. Higher, the more chance you find the double wrap. So left leg over right, maybe a double wrap, not a necessity. Arms out to the side. Take right arm over left, give yourself that hug, half or full eagle wrap. Let's take a seat back, lift the elbows up away from your face. Stay here, or exhale, twist to the left. The elbows don't have to touch the thigh, but do keep, again, lengthening through your spine. Breath, breath, breath in the low back. 
Using your inhale to bring yourself up with eagle arms. Uncoil the left leg, draw it into the chest, and then step the foot down in control. Take your arms beside you, take a moment, deep inhale through the nose, side out. Finding you at the top of the mat, inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart and kiss the inner elbows. Draw the right knee up into the chest, baby crunch, elbows touch thigh. Inhale, a giant step back to your high crescent lunge. Moving in all directions, it's a powerful way to stay up. Exhale, one-legged tadasana, right knee draws in. Hands to heart, elbows kiss, baby crunch. Inhale, giant step back, always go further than it might feel comfortable to you. One more time, exhale, one-legged tadasana, coming up. Hands to heart, elbows kiss, baby crunch. Inhale, giant step back, high crescent. Exhale, hands to the heart. Using core strength to twist to the left. Then you can tap that elbow tricep and find that fantastic breath in the lower back. So this is all about getting long. The way you stay up is you wanna reach back to the back heel and you wanna reach the crown of the head forward. Breathing into uh, the back body, spreading across the collarbone. And then on the inhale, float your hands down, frame your left foot, and fingers fist blocks. Exhale, lengthen to the left leg, give it a break. Inhale, rebend your left knee, take your left hand on the inside, maybe a block, pivot the right heel in, and then find your side angle, right arm reaches up. But perhaps if you want to reach it over your ear, and try to find that long line of energy, outer blade, right foot, all the way out through the fingertips. Core pushing into that left heel. Open this up into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. And no need to come up, just to get a little bit more into your core. Yeah, you gotta find gravity a bit. Left hand be light wherever it is. And draw that tailbone to your back heel. And a beautiful breath in. And then exhale, lower your right hand down, face your left toes to the right. Find your white forward fold. A little half lift. Exhale, look at your right leg. Let's give it a hug too. Wrapping hands around ankle, calf, thigh, wherever you can grab. Super tempting to draw your booty back. Bring the weight forward into the front of your feet. And maybe now this time lift the left hip, drop the right to get a little bit deeper into the twist. Find a nice long inhale through the nose. Maybe a sigh. Carefully releasing on the inhale, find that half lift through center. Exhale, turn over your left leg or runner lunge. Plant your right palm into the ground. Inhale, all ten toes to the left, finding your boomerang twist. Strong in the oblique shoulder, not sinking into wrist or ankles. Your bottom leg, right leg. Exhale, bend the knee and draw the leg in a bit, facing the left long edge of the mat. Stack knees, feet wide away from one another. You're in Gomukhasana or Ardhamatsindrasana, seated twist set up, the left foot over your right thigh. You can stay up as much as you want or exhale, fold over a little bit or a lot. Breathing into that back body, deep inhale. Sigh out. Use your inhale to come back up. Core turn to your right this time, facing the top edge of the mat. Uh, option one, take your shoulder opener, arms reach up this time, right elbow bends, hand in the nape of the neck. Work that hand down by taking the left hand on the right elbow. That's half the work. You can go for the wrap. Make sure the left thumb faces down as you circle the arm all the way around. Peace fingers, wrist, hand towel, and then maybe fold over. Beautiful, beautiful shape. Or taking the other leg into your Shashasana A, coming onto your forearms over the shins. I always need to take this clip out. I don't want to hurt my skull. Take the back of the head into that cradle. And take your toes, tuck them, walk the feet in. Stacking hips and then slowly coming up. Core, core, core. Draw the hips back. Breath. Maybe find that full eagle wrap. 
steady, steady, steady. Draw the hips back a little bit. If you're in the bind, soften in the shoulders. Use your exhales to deepen into the hip opener and shoulder opener. If you are up in eagle wrap, especially the double, start to undo the double wrap. Draw the knees into your chest and then slowly lower down. It's very challenging, I find. And then bring yourself upright. It's coming from the headstand or your shoulder opener. And please then release your hands behind you, fingertips to your seat, rock back. Uncoil so the left ankle's over the right thigh, step your right foot forward. Figure four, reverse tabletop. Lengthen left leg long in front of you. Then the right leg follows. I don't know who came up with this. It is so challenging. Push through the palms, hips lift. Then bend your knees and scoot your booty forward, wrist stretch. Inhale, come up, face your arms forward, up and to the ceiling. Pop into the tippy toes, find a 90 or a full boat pose. And again, three more pulses or stay up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale back, inhale up. Cross your ankles, come over your shins. Maybe a jump back, a duck, to your downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose, side out. And then take your child's pose or sit up by your shin. Got one more uh, standing wave. I'm gonna switch sides, you stay where you are. I just uh, I don't wanna kick things, so I need a bit of space. All right. It's a bit of a shorter one, but um, digging deep into the hips. All right, on the next inhale, find all four. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now please draw your big toes to touch and lift your right leg up into the sky, inhale. Exhale, draw the knee to nose and step the foot through between your hands. Lower left knee down, untuck your toes, inhale, arms sweep up for your Andhanyasana, maybe interlace Kali Mudra. And then breathe, opening up through the front body. Um, if you feel that you're sinking in your front hip, Push through the right heel to lift up a bit, then lengthening the back a bit, then deepen into the lunge. You might find that it comes more from your trailing leg than from the front hip. Exhale, the hands come down, frame your foot, and take a half split Ardha Hanumanasana. Uh, try just to draw the toes towards you. Maybe go for Hanumanasana or your journey in and towards it, right? And it can be a journey of a lifetime. You can stay uh, up, you can fold forward if you want to get a bit more into the hamstrings. Or maybe stay up and reach your arms up overhead, perhaps interlacing last three fingers. A big breath in through the nose. Inside out. And then you can bring the hands down if they're up. The leg is long, long-ish. Draw it back, re-bend the knee. Tuck your left toes and sweep your right leg all the way back into the sky, dog split. Exhale, that can be right knee to right elbow. You can bend the elbows back there for a spider push up or kundanyasana too, or you just keep going forward. Find your breath, fly and split. And then take that back into your right down dog split. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Now coming back into lizard. Now a couple options for you. You can stay here on palms. Maybe come on forearms, forearms on blocks, any variation. You can take your right shoulder underneath the right knee, framing the foot. Maybe find airplane wings or interlace your fingers behind you for the bind. Breath. Breath, breath, kick to that back heel. And then please, if you have the bind, carefully release. Hands come back underneath your shoulders. If your back knee is down, please lift it by tucking the toes. 
Exhale, find Skandasana over your left leg. The heel pivots in, the toes face out. Hands to the heart. And find a big breath in. You can use hands or no hands. Lower your booty all the way down to the ground. Your left knee faces up. Take your right forearm to the inner right thigh. Left arm reaches up. Maybe this is enough, or take your right hand to the left ankle and work your right shoulder to the inner right thigh. You can reach your left arm over your head. Maybe find the right ankle or the pinky toe edge of the foot. As you breathe into this beautiful side waist opener, big breath in, maybe side out. On the next inhale, bring yourself uh, back up to sit. Let your left knee pivot to the front of the mat and make sure you turn the top of the foot down to the ground. Now you can use your hands for this. Be mindful or go without. I'm going to rock into my left leg and draw the right leg underneath you. Sit on the heels or between the heels in Virasana. And again, use your hands or go without. Rock into the right leg and then swing your left leg forward. Hands or no hands, push into the mat. Bend the left knee, walk your hands forward, tuck your right toes from the ground up, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana, open this way back up. And maybe perhaps wrap your right lower arm around your back. And perhaps from there you want to move the left hand to the heart and maybe that's enough. Or bend your right knee and reach back with the left hand for the big toe edge of your right foot and find a push. Find a pull, very steady breath. And carefully release the tail if you have it. Oops. Left hand lowers down. And then your right hand lowers down as well. Internally rotate your right leg, brief standing split. As you bend your right knee and place the shin behind your right heel on the ground, lower your booty behind your right heel. And we're back in that Janu Shasana setup. Sole of the right foot, inner left thigh. Or perhaps take the pinky toe edge of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Face your right knee down. You can then wrap your right arm around the low back. Find the pinky, sorry, the big toe edge of the foot. Stay up or exhale, fold over. So you're either in Janu Shasana or your Ekapada Bada Padma, Pashimottanasana. Your uh, bound half lotus in the forward fold. Both are beautiful back body stretches. The half lotus variation just dries your heel a little bit into your descending colon, helping with the digestion a little bit uh, more intensely. Find a deep breath into the nose. Side out. And then inhale, come up. If you're in half lotus, stay there. I'll be with you in a moment. Uh, if you are in Janu Shasana, take the left ankle in front of the right. If you're in half lotus, find full lotus. So if you're in Sukhasana, heels, ankles in front of one another, you can do the same thing uh, as you were to do if you're in full lotus. Uh, you can come over your shins. Walk the hands forward until you're lying on your belly, coming then onto your forearms. And then maybe make a pillow with your hands or rest your forehead on the back of your hands. If you're in your Sukhasana and you just hit your ankles crossed, you will probably kind of end up in this frog-like shape, maybe even draw the soles of your feet to touch. If you're in your uh, full lotus, you will definitely get um, into that low back opener. And then take your hands underneath your shoulders, using core, not the knee joints, to draw yourself back. Again, then you can uncoil your legs, cross over your ankles, step back, jump back, float back. Uh, your vinyasa, meet in downward facing dog. Find a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Take a moment. And then I'll meet you in your downward facing dog. And take a moment, child's pose, or sit up on your shins. Again, I'm going to switch. And then we're moving into our final lap.
All right, stay with your breath. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now please draw a big toes to touch and float your left leg up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose and step the left foot through between your hands. Right knee lowers, untuck your toes. Arms sweep up, find that beautiful, again, extension in the front body. Uh, maybe lengthening a bit more through the arms to get that beautiful shoulder opener. And again, explore your Anjaniyasana. You can pulse a little bit. Inhale to broaden, to open, and exhale to deepen. Uh, please make sure you're still smoothly breathing. On the exhale, hands come down, frame your foot. Hips draw back, Ardha Hamanasana, half split, be here, beautiful. Or maybe a little bit or a lot in and towards your Hanumanasana. Left side for me is quite different than right. <laughs> breath, breath, breath. So here I fidget, which is a, to me an indication I'm avoiding. So deep breaths into the intensity, the communication. Fold forward, stay up, or maybe interlace your hands overhead. A deep breath in through the nose. Side out. And then hands come down if they're up. If the leg is long, draw it back. Rebend the knee. Plant your palms down, inhale. Sweep your left leg all the way back into the sky, dog split. Again, those are all options. You can tap the left knee to the left tricep. Bending the elbows back will definitely prepare you for Kundi 2. Or take it all the way forward. Looking forward. Finding your flying splits here. Breath, breath, breath. And then take that back into the left dog split. And exhale, step the foot to the outside of your left hand. Finding your Uttamprastasana. Your variation on palms, on forearms, kicking through the back heel, on blocks. Or slide that left shoulder underneath the left knee, frame the foot, kicking through the back heel. Extend the crown of the head forward. Maybe interlace your fingers behind you. Breath, breath, breath. Keep getting longer, longer, longer. And then whenever you're ready, you can release your bind if you have it, hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, pivot the right heel to the left and find Skandasana over your right leg, back of the mat. Feel free to adjust your feet. Seat down, heart forward, try not to collapse into the big toe of your right foot. With or without hands, lower your booty down to the ground. Keep your right knee facing up. Take the left forearm to the inner left thigh. The right arm reaches up. Perhaps that is enough. Or take the left hand to the right ankle and work the left shoulder to the inner left thigh. Reaching your right arm overhead. Ankle. Roll onto uh, or into that side waist opener. Maybe peek underneath the armpit. Deep breath in. And maybe a sigh. And then on the inhale, bring yourself back upright. Let your right knee pivot to the front of the mat. Make sure the top of the foot is facing down so the heel is on the outside of your glute. Hands or no hands, be careful. Rock into the right leg and then draw that left leg underneath you. Super challenging. Sit between the heels or on the heels. Rock into the left leg and swing your right leg forward. You're in half heroes. Use your hands for this one. Beside you, push into the mat, bend your right knee, walk your hands forward, tuck your left toes, half moon from the ground up, fighting gravity here. Left arm reaches all the way up. Think about it, uh, it's like a triangle on one leg, stacking left hip over right. Maybe this is enough, or take that left lower arm around the lower back. From there, you can take your right hand to the heart if you want. Maybe bend the left knee and reach back with your right hand for the big toe edge of the foot and find that push and find the pull. Find one more breath, wherever you are. And then carefully release the tail if you have it. 
Right hand lowers, the left arm re-extends, and then take the left hand down. Internally rotate left leg, please, head drops. Uh, bend your left knee and place the shin down behind your right heel as you bend the right knee, obviously, and then drop your booty behind the left heel. Opening this up into Janu Shirshasana. So the left foot inner right thigh, or take the pinky toe edge of the left foot inner right thigh and face that left knee down. Left arm can reach around the big toe edge of the foot. Stay up or forward fold wherever you are. Big breath in through the nose, into the back body. Exhale, side out. Using your inhale to come back up. If you're in half lotus, take your full lotus if you want. This time I'll just show what it is like if you do no lotus. So just right ankle in front of the left, Sukhasana. You're more than welcome to stay up. I'm going to scoot back a bit. Or perhaps coming over your shins, walk the hands forward, coming onto your belly. And you might find that the feet just uncurl. So you can take the soles of your feet together and then maybe tap the big toes down to the ground as you rest your forehead on the back of the hands. Or if you're full lotus, really allow that uh, to perhaps open up in the lower back. A deep inhale through the nose, side out. If you are in that frog, cross your ankles please so that you can walk your hands underneath you using core to come back up and pull it over the heels. And then you can cross your ankles, uh, come over your shins, step back, jump back, float back, your choice and I'm reaching downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose, side out. All right, beautiful. Let's come down to hands and knees. Fish toe your legs out to one side, drop your seat behind you, and then please step your feet in front. You can lower onto your back. A bit of a windshield wiper. And then it might be nice to tuck your tailbone so you can flatten out to the lower back. Hands beside you, pushing into the feet, the hands. Make sure you're, you can graze the back of your heels and that they're not touching your glutes. It's a little too close by. You can lift the hips, chin slightly tucked. Finding Setu Bandhasana bridge pose if you want to. Uh, walk the shoulder blades in and interlace your hands, you can. So you can push into your big toe mounts to not let the knees splay out. If you want, maybe a bit more fire hands by your ears and perhaps come up into your Dhanurasana, sorry, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Uh, maybe come into the balls of your feet, play a little bit, maybe walk the feet in and then lower the heels down from there. Breath, breath, breath. And whenever you are ready, coming back down to the ground. And a little windshield viper to negate. Perhaps constructive rest, feet to the outer edges of the mat, let the knees knock in. One hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Or Supta Bhadakanasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. If you are craving a supine twist, or perhaps a plow or a shoulder stand. I always gonna definitely make sure those are given to you as options. I'm going to be pulling a few of my singing bowls out as you work through whatever it is that you want to work through. Uh, that can, by the way, be moving in and towards your Shavasana. Um, that is absolutely perfect. Um, I would recommend to allow your eyes to close or find a bit of a softer gaze. All right. And 
start to make your way in and towards that Shavasana. so so much for practicing with me let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'm always happy to hear from you and uh, I'll be back next week thank you so so much